Hooke's Law, Force versus Extension Graph for a Spring, an introduction by kscience.com. This graph shows the force along the x-axis and the extension in centimetres along the y-axis. So if we apply a 1 newton force to this spring, it's going to extend the spring by 10 centimetres. So this spring here has been extended because a force of 1 newton has been applied to it. And the extension is 10 centimetres. And the extension is 10 centimetres. So we've now added an additional 1 newton to this spring. So we've now got a force of 2 newtons acting on the spring. So we've now added an additional 1 newton to this spring. So we've now got a force of 2 newtons acting on the spring. And the extension of this spring is 20 centimetres. So this spring has now extended by 20 centimetres. So as you can see here, the force applied to the spring is directly proportional to the extension of the spring until we reach this point here. This point here is the limit of proportionality. The limit of proportionality is the maximum force that can be applied before the extension stops being proportional to the force. So we've applied a 2.5 newton force to the spring. 2.5 newton force to the spring. And there's been an extension to the spring of 25 centimeters. So for this object, 2.5 newtons is the maximum force that can be applied to the object before the extension is no longer directly proportional to the force applied. This is the limit of proportionality for this object. So we now apply a force of 2.65 newtons to the spring, and the extension of the spring is 30 centimeters. So if it was directly proportional still, we would get an extension of 30 centimeters only if you applied a force of 3 newtons. However, we've now applied a force of 2.65 newtons. We've now applied a force of 2.65 newtons. Get an extension of 30 centimeters. Remember, when the graph starts to curve, the extension is not directly proportional to the force. The extension of the spring is directly proportional to the force applied, as long as it doesn't exceed the limit of proportionality. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.